Hi, this is Gabriel from Black Force Comics, and this is going to be our weekly review episode number 28. But today, we're vac vacationing and we're visiting... Ron Killingsworth with Collected Comics here in the DFW, Texas area. And we're right now, we're in his shop, uh, Collected Comics, in Hearst, Texas. So we're going to let Ron take over to a little bit out of his shop, and then we'll give you some pictures of it later. All right, we have five stores in the North Texas area. We've got one in Hearst, one in Plano, one in Keller, one in Burleson, and one in Fort Worth. Uh, I've been doing comics since 1982, off and on. Took a little vacation, raised a family, and jumped right back in. Um, I'm just a longtime fanboy comic comic guy. That's what I am. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So what draws to Ron's shop is, of course, we look at the comic book shop locator, which is a free app available to all smartphones and iPhones. Um, we looked on that and we found his shop out of the numerous shops. And when we looked at his profile, it really drew us in the, the wording and the way he's got a commitment to the customers. That drew us in. So that's why we're here with Ron today. Checked it out. Met the man. He's an <laughs> awesome man. You should come by, check him out if you're in the DFW area. But uh, we're going to talk about this week's comics. So let's get you started with Ron's top picks for this week. Okay, for the ones coming out this week or for the for ones last, last week? week? Yeah, last, last week. week Vis that. Vision is always going to be my number one pick any week that it comes out. That book has just got me so excited. Um, I'm sad that it's going to end on issue number 12, but I'm extremely excited that the writer is going to be taking over Batman. So uh, it's just going to be pretty awesome with what he can do with that. Last week was also a, a new book that came out called Baker Street Peculiars, um, which was a really good all-ages book. We also love it because Andy Hirsch is the artist, and he's one of our customers at our Plano store. So uh, we have that inside connection there, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, just a uh, kids being Sherlock Holmes. Um, and then right now, Avenger Standoff uh, has got me really excited about Marvel again um, with the story that they're going with right now, uh, the Cosmic Cube and everything else and all the Avengers going after it. That looks like it's going to be a really good story all the way through. I'd say for my kids' top pick, it was also Baker Street Peculiars. I talked about it with y'all last week, how those kids were doing the whole Sherlock uh, Holmes thing. It was an amazing comic. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Suicide Squad was also one of my top picks. They're starting to tie it in more to the movie now, which I wish they wouldn't, but DC has a bad <laughs> habit of tying in their comics to movies and TV shows like they did with, La uh, with the, what's his name, the Green Arrow and with Green the Flash, Arrow. how they started incorporating them. For no reason. They had separate comics that were related just to the TV shows, but then they went ahead and incorporated it to the regular run as well, which kind of, you know, I don't know, I'm getting off on the tangent when we talk about Baker Street Rebirth, Peculiar. Rebirth may kind of work all of that out Hopefully, somehow. hopefully <laughs> they do. Thanks, DC, for making another reboot in less than a year. It's um, a rebirth, not yeah, a reboot. <laughs> rebirth. Um, also, Avengers Standoff was also really top on there. I talked about it with y'all last week and the week before. Um, now it's a little girl that is the, the cosmic, cosmic cube. cube that's uh, materialized into a girl, which is it's an amazing story, so that's really good. And... Uh, yeah, and the Transformers. I'll let y'all read that one. That one was really good. Um, so that was last week's comics. What are you looking forward to this week? Okay, this week, it, just like Vision, any week that Huck comes out is yeah. the week that that's always going to be my number one pick of the week. Huck, to me, has just been an astounding book, and kudos to Image for overprinting it enough that I can still get number ones right now. Um, we just sell, we sell at least two to five number ones every week. We've got new people starting that book all the time. Um, number two for me is Poison Ivy. Um, you know, Dr. Dr. Uh, Ivy uh, has been just really good. It's uh, fleshing out her character, explaining why she and Harley are no longer the item, mm -hmm. you know, and um, just really making her a fully rounded character, which I'm enjoying that one. And then just old school nostalgia for me, Power Man Iron Fist. The first issue, yes. it took me a little while to get into the art, but the art kind of fits it. And the story is wonderful. It, it, it was just like picking up right from where the Power Man Iron Fist story ended. I feel like this man knows me. He's right, right on board. I'm loving the Poison Ivy cycle of life and death. It's amazing. Power Man, Iron Fist, one of my favorite team dynamics. You know, y'all know me. I love the team dynamic. I love the body, buddy cop. I love Archer and Armstrong. Power Man, Iron Fist, same way. They have that team dynamic. 
And the art, same thing. It kind of, oh, but reading the story was great. And Archer and Armstrong comes out this week. Archer and Armstrong comes out this week, <laughs> number zero. And uh, if you saw the previews for it, which were in Ninjak, um, Exo Man of War, they've been in all the Valiant comics. And the previews is um, Archer is going into Armstrong's bag of holding. Okay, it's not really a bag of holding, but you know what it is. Um, so, yeah, that's another one we're looking forward to. And that's going to kind of conclude our top picks for last week's and this week's comics that are coming out. Um, anything else you want to say about your shop? No, so thank people you. That are watching? Thank you for coming and visiting. It was nice having you up here. Totally. Thank you, sir. I'll come down to see you. Awesome. <laughs> we're going to give you some shots of the shop, let you look around, let you enjoy it from the safety and, and comfort of your homes. <laughs> um, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next week. Stop. Recording you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you like. To what? Uh, time stories. And what is time stories? Yeah, it's a role playing game that uh, I don't quite remember if it has like a little box that you need, but I think it tells a story to you, which is pretty cool. And you have to choose avenues, and you're time traveling like detective, and you solve uh, crimes by going back in time and doing the same adventure over and over again until you can get it right. So, if Kronos was a good guy? Sure.